yeah, uh, any any questions, guys? I mean, obviously for us, um, I know it was you know a crazy week for these guys around here. Um, and what I'd like to say before we talk about is, you know, I, I hope Coach Turgeon is being celebrated for what he did here. You know, for 10 years, I've, uh, I've competed against that guy. A couple at Duke when I was an assistant, and then, you know, eight years here in the Big Ten. And I can tell you, trying to prepare to play against his teams, the kind of players he had here, the winning, uh, the way he did it, the kind of person he is, it's a good basketball coach and a good man. So uh, I hope that everybody around here will celebrate him for his tenure as you guys move forward. So I'm open to questions now. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support, Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Um, just curious, I mean, how did you go about preparing for this team when it is an admitted coaching change? Did you yeah. expect it to be pretty much the same as what you saw in film or anything like that? Yeah, I didn't think they were going to be able to change a whole lot in terms of how they played. Uh, I'm sure it was an emotional day, you know, two days ago when everything kind of hit, you know. So in terms of preparation, you know, they didn't have a whole lot, a lot of time. So I knew that they were probably going to do what they've been doing, uh, you know, schematically. Um, you know, what you don't see a lot in college is like trades or coaching changes that you see in pro in the pro game. And what I try to do, you know, I've grown up with the program with my dad and you've seen normally when there's a big trade or normally when there's any kind of change, you see a, a, a fire and a fight in a team. You know, initially there's that initial boost. And we talked to our team about that. And, and I thought Maryland's kids played really hard. You know, that's not easy. You know, all of a sudden a guy who's recruited you and you've played for and now there's a change and, and give their staff credit. You know, Danny's been, he's done it, so he knows what he's doing. It's good that he's got a guy, Matt Brady's done it. You know, he's been a head coach, but um, I, I just felt like their energy and their fight. You know, we thought they were gonna do what they do schematically, but I, I knew we were gonna see their best shot and um, we were gonna have to play well in order to win. Chris, how, how happy were you with your defense today and just kind of how you were able to contain most of their knowns today? Yeah, um, you know, I thought our defense on Ayala and Scott was really good, you know, those guys, and Wahab, you know, those three guys. Um, you know, I thought Russell got downhill a little bit. He had some missed finishes. He made a couple threes, which we were going to live with. Um, he's a good player. But, you know, certainly with these guys, you know, you, you hold Scott to two for 11, I up to two for 12, you know, and Wahab to one for eight. You know, you've done a really good job on that end. And, um, and really down the stretch, I was pleased with our defense because it became, there was a lot of game pressure. You know, they made a nice push. They got it to a one possession game. And that's usually where Ayala, especially, he's been such a cl clutch player for them. I thought for us to have Adige back, you know, there, there was a big play. They tried to isolate him, and Chase got a steal and turned it into a, a layup on the other end. I mean, that's what we've missing. You know, this is this is the first game we've had our whole team. You know, we not have an Adige the whole year. You know, uh, but I think in the long run it's going to help us because it's allowed some of our other guys to get some minutes and 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 figure some things out. So. Anytime you went on the road, guys, in this conference, I don't care who you play, where you play them, you got to be happy because it's a really tough league, and we're really happy to get out of here with a win. Hey, Coach. Just going off of the team's defensive performance, could you go into a little bit more detail on, on how do you guys contain Wahab throughout the, um, the afternoon? Yeah, we tried to give him some different looks. Um, you know, you saw the other night at Virginia Tech, he kind of had his way. You know, if, if you give, they do a good job with their spacing. I mean, he had his, you know, the other night, if you allow him to crab dribble and get back and get to his pet moves, um, he can be hard to deal with. We tried to just kind of swarm him. You know, at times we doubled some of the things. We just tried to give help in other areas. You know, he probably missed a couple. When I watched the film, there's probably a couple he missed that he probably, you know, there's always a little luck involved. You know, same thing with Ayala and Scott. You know, those guys got some good looks maybe they normally make that they missed. But I just thought our activity down there, I thought our big guys really fought him in the post. They made it hard for him to get catches and, and really deep position. You ran a, quite a few sets that ended up uh, with shots in the paint, especially with Nance early. Uh, did you see something in Maryland, or is that just your normal offense? Yeah, I mean, it was all kind of stuff we normally run. But to your point, like, Wahab is such a presence on the offensive end. And we have a guy in Nance who's, who's very versatile as a big guy. And so we wanted to try to make Wahab guard out on the floor. You know, so we tried to get him out on the court as much as we could. We tried to get him, 
in pick and rolls. And we tried to, I thought it opened up some rolls to the basket, you know, which because we have pretty good you know, they were a little reluctant to leave our guys. But for us to get some points in the paint was big. You know, at times when we've struggled, we've been too reliant on just cranking up threes. And I thought our ability to get into the paint and get some baskets was, was a big part of the game. I appreciate you being here. Yeah, thank you. Um, being able to have your defense hold them scoreless both the first half, the second half, and I think even kind of those last four minutes, mm -hmm. what that kind of shows about this defense's evolution, um, not only this year, but like down the stretch the last couple of years? Yeah, no, I, I just think, you know, this group that's playing for us right now, we, we've invested in this group. You know, two years ago, a lot of those guys were freshmen and, and young sophomores. And you know what? They took some leaps. You know, we, we had a 3-17 and 17 year in the conference. And that's what happens a lot when you play in, in this league with a lot of young guys. But our whole goal was to really, you know, invest in these players, you know, invest in their development, have them grow together. You know, we turned three wins two years ago into six last year. So even though it didn't look, we doubled. And we got everybody back, you know, and, and everybody's really – buying into winning. You know, they want to be a tournament team. They want to be a top half team in this league. They believe in each other. You know, they believe in what we're doing. And it's, it's fun as a coach when all those things are in a good spot and all you have to do is worry about coaching. So this has been a really well-led team by our veteran guys. And you see, like, they're, they're poised down the stretch of games. You know, and it really came through tonight when we had to get stops. We had to make a couple free throws and, and, and got a couple big buckets when we needed them. All right, thank you guys very much. Maryland's legal newspaper has named the Jacklets Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. The Jacklets Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers.